Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing a foundation review today. Yesterday after work, I got off of work and I walked over to Rite Aid, which is right next to the Sephora I work at. And I was looking for the Wet n Wild foundation because I had previously I had gone to CVS and Walgreens and looked for it everywhere just because I prefer their prices over Rite Aid. And I'm not very familiar with Rite Aid because we don't have that in Texas, but it's very popular here. And I went into Rite Aid and sure enough, the display that they had, they had the full photo focus products from Wet n Wild. So I got the foundation, the concealer, and the powder. And there, originally on the display there was coupons, but all the coupons were gone, so I didn't get to use a coupon. I know that some people have gotten them. Uh, it's like a dollar off or two dollars off. I'm not entirely sure what the coupon was, because like I said, there wasn't any, but I know that, I know I had seen a blog post about how this person got it, everything for like eight dollars, because they also had a buy one, get one. Unfortunately, the buy one, get one, I believe was like last week or something, so I'm a little late on that. They did have several foundation shades. I wanna say they had like 10 foundation shades. They didn't have the full range. I know the full range has a lot more shades, but I was able to this up in golden beige, which is meant for medium warm. And I love that it has that description at the bottom. So you don't really have to let you, you still have to guess because there's no like testers or anything, but you don't have to guess too hard because it does have the undertone, which is great because sometimes it's like buff beige and you're kind of like, what even is buff beige? Um, but I got the shade golden beige and honestly guys, it was between this and like natural beige or something. And honestly, I could not decide what color get. I literally stood there for like six to seven minutes trying to decide what shade to get and whether I should go with the lighter shade or the golden beige because from previous experiences when I've gotten golden beige this tends to be too orange on my skin however as y'all can see on camera it looks phenomenal on me so I'm so excited that I, I did go with the darker shade I'm so glad I didn't go with the lighter shade because I feel like that would have been too white I picked up the concealer the concealer they only had like four shades so this one was a little bit rougher to choose I believe I got light medium beige which is 841b so yeah I was really excited that I got the concealer I also got the powder and the powder I actually got in neutral beige they only had like four or five powders so I was kind of stuck between either getting something super light or getting something in the middle I chose the neutral beige just because it has neutral undertone and the, my reasoning behind that was that in case this was too yellow the neutral beige would kind of cancel out the yellow just a little bit to kind of neutralize everything with that being said guys this foundation has really just it's all over social media it's all over Instagram this was one of those foundations that I was immediately looking for as soon as it came out so the description for the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation on the website, it says, Your skin only better, our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera-ready makeup every time. Specifically made with matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a hashtag no filter perfection. It's high-performing breakthrough formula. It's featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. So the seven light like conditions tested with a smartphone was clear blue sunlight sky outdoors in the afternoon, indoors in the afternoon, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. With that being said, I'm just really excited to try out this foundation, which I already did because I already filmed the demo. Obviously, I'm wearing it right now, and I have to say, guys, I look flawless, so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I'm really excited to do the wear test and whatnot because this is one of those foundations I'm actually impressed by, and you can tell with my excitement, I hope. So with that being said, guys, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot straight into the demo. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today I will be trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. So this shade is for medium skin with warm undertones, so I'm really excited to try it out. Uh, I didn't get to swatch it in store, so we're just going to find out if this color is a good match for me. Also, I don't have a beauty blender because I had to throw mine out and I haven't bought one yet. So I will just be using my Real Techniques buffing brush. This is the Heavenly Lux Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. So this is what I'll be using to apply my foundation. So the applicator for the foundation, it doesn't have a pump, but it does have this like weird spatula looking thing. If you're a germaphobe, then I don't recommend this foundation or just simply don't use it. Um, I know that my hands are clean, so I am good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the top of my hand. Actually, what I'm gonna go ahead is just take the spatula and kind of tap it onto my skin. I'm only gonna apply it to one half of my face to see the difference. So now that I've applied the foundation to the right side of my face, I have to say guys, the foundation is kind of like not super watery, but it is, or runny, but it is water, a water-like consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start buffing it in. Oh 
Okay guys, so now that I've applied the foundation to the right side of my face, I have to say I really like the coverage. The coverage is very much so medium buildable coverage. You can definitely get it up to full coverage if it's not already full coverage on you. You can still see some of the texture on my skin, but I have to say guys, it really covered everything up. I'm really impressed just from like one initial coating. So I'm gonna go ahead before I do the other side of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and layer it on just a little bit more, just on the areas that I have a problematic skin which is just like my cheeks a little bit does go a long way with this foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and again just continue to buff it in Okay guys, so I've added in the second layer. So I'm really impressed with the coverage of this foundation. I have to say guys like it's full coverage like this is my normal skin and as you can see, it just made my skin so flawless and so luminous looking. I'm gonna go ahead and add the foundation to the other side of my face. So I finished applying the foundation to the left side of my face and I really do love the coverage of this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything using the Wet n Wild Press Powder, Photo Focus Press Powder. And this is the powder that actually comes with the foundation. It was on the same display. So I'm really excited to try this out. I have the shade 823C Neutral Beige. And I got a neutral tone to kind of cancel out a lot of the yellow just because this foundation is super yellow base just because I did get a warm shade so I'm gonna go ahead in with my Marc Jacobs the face 2 brush which is like a powder brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just swirl it in there and just kind of start dropping it on my face Okay guys, so I finished applying the powder to the rest of my face, and I don't know if I like the powder just yet, but it did do a great job at setting the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. This foundation is like not feeling dry, which I guess is a good thing if you have dry skin, but I don't feel like my face is like transfer proof, is that the word I'm looking for? And I didn't use any type of primer before I started using the foundation, just so y'all know. Next, I did pick up the concealer as well. This is the Photo Focus Concealer, and I got this in the shade Light Medium Beige 841B. Looks like this. I don't know if this is actually lighter than my skin. I feel like the foundation is actually way lighter than I thought it was going to be. So I don't know how well this is going to do, but I'm going to go ahead and apply this under my eye. And again, taking my buffing brush, just gonna pat that in. And I'm just gonna be using the same Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder to set everything. And again, just taking the same brush, just gonna pat that on underneath my eye. And with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I finished applying the rest of my makeup. It is now 12 11 in the afternoon, and I will be back in a couple of hours to check back in with you guys. The foundation looks amazing overall, so I'm really excited about this, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so the only thing I didn't show you guys was the, the light reflecting effect. I did go ahead and take some photos using flash photography. I had turned off my ring light off of camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert the first photo now. I have to say, guys, that this looks absolutely amazing. It really looks like my neck matches my face which is rare even when I blend it out normally you can see like halfway through my neck you can see the the difference of skin tone and this foundation just matches my skin tone so amazing there is no white cast it does look very yellow toned on my skin which is perfectly fine it does look full coverage the second picture that I took is more up close. Ignore my jawline, like, ew, I look so gross. But although you can see my skin texture, which is, you know, from acne scars and whatnot, I have to say, guys, it looks very well blended into my neck. It, there's no flashback. And if there is, it's very subtle. And that could just be the yellow tones in the foundation. So again, I really like the way it looks. Next photo, just room lighting. It's very warm tone. And again, the foundation looks really good. There's no, like, white cast at all. I really like the way this looks on camera. So with that being said guys, I'll be back later to check back in with you guys, so stay tuned. It's now 5.11. It's been about six hours since my last check-in with you guys. The foundation was still fresh the last time I checked in with you guys. And after a full day of cooking roast, napping, and watching The Magician,
Magicians, which if you haven't watched, check out because it's amazing. It's on Netflix. I am back to check in with you guys and it's been six hours. The foundation actually is wearing very nicely, if I do say so myself. Gonna go ahead and pull out my mirror just to get a better look. Yeah, the foundation looks phenomenal for six hour wear, especially from a drugstore. Normally by now I would be super oily. I am oily, but just in my T-zone, which is to be expected when you have oily skin. I will be using my Blotter Oxy to touch up. And by touch up, I just mean blot away excess oils. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my Blotter Oxy and I'm just gonna pat that on my nose and the sides of my nose, which is just where I'm oily. And honestly, guys, just doing that, it looks amazing. The foundation is not breaking up in any specific place. Normally, right around this time, my foundation would be breaking apart on my chin and on the sides of my nose, but the foundation is still holding up very well. The lipstick I am using is one of the new Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks, and that is also holding up extremely well because I did eat soup, and normally when I eat soup, it would have worn out the lipstick just a little bit in the center, which is perfectly fine. But that did not happen. My lipstick is intact 100%, and I am absolutely amazed. I'm not really oily anywhere else. After blotting, the foundation still looks amazing. I'm really impressed, guys. That's all I can say so far. I'll come back in a couple of hours to check back in with you guys for the final conclusion or whatever, but six hours, guys. That's a long-ass time for this foundation to look this good. Like, I look so good on camera. I look so good when I was taking my selfies earlier for Instagram. I'm mind-blown so far. So yeah, guys, I'll be back in a couple hours to check back in with you guys, so stay tuned. Hey, guys, so it's now 9.55 at night. It has been about 10 to 11 hours. I want to say it's been 11 hours since I initially put on the foundation and definitely definitely been about five hours since the last check-in. I have to say, guys, that the foundation is starting to feel heavy on my skin in the sense that it's starting to feel oily or greasy. Not super greasy, but I can definitely start to feel the oils on my face. As for the wear of the foundation, I have to say, guys, coverage-wise, it's holding up amazing. It really hasn't separated in any specific spot. The only thing is my nose is oily. Um, for the most part, everything is concealed. I can start to see, like, a pimple um, on my jaw, but other than that, the foundation is holding very well as far as just being oily. I'm gonna go ahead, and like I did in my last check-in, I'm gonna go ahead and blot my face just to see how the foundation wore underneath those oils. Okay, so I finished blotting, guys, and I have to say the foundation's holding up very well, but even blotting can't save this unless I go in with a powder because I am starting to get really oily on my T-zone. But as far as the coverage, the foundation is holding up very well. Also, adding that in, I'm still wearing the same liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild. It is starting to feel drying on the lips. However, the color lasted all day, guys. Like, I even ate and stuff. And it's only coming off from the middle of my lip, but for the most part, the color is all there and I did not touch up not once today, guys. After 11 hours, that's amazing. But yeah, as far as the foundation, it's it's not starting to wear. The coverage is still there. However, it's starting to feel oily. So, but it has been 11 hours and that's absolutely amazing for a drugstore foundation, especially one that's not meant to like mattify the skin. It's just supposed to be camera ready. That's their market. This is so long wearing. I'm honestly amazed. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Who benefits from this foundation? I have to say, if you have oily skin, you'll definitely benefit from this because like I I said 11 hours later the foundation looks so good if you have combo skin this will be great for you if you have dry skin i would suggest just using a primer so it won't dry out your skin and then as far as primers i feel like this foundation really held together because i used no primer for this foundation guys and the fact that i was able to wear 11 hours without having to like touch up with powder or without adding any extra coverage that's insane to me guys as far as acne and sensitive skin i have to say guys i don't feel like this is gonna break me out just be wary about taking removing your foundation completely and you should be fine but would I continue to buy this foundation would I recommend it to someone who's maybe on a budget I would definitely recommend this foundation this foundation I'm actually really impressed with just because of the price point it is $5.99 I just think that's such an affordable foundation for such high quality that it's lasting and how it's looking on the skin as far as the 700 level test or whatever it was that they were um, marketing it as it I think it looks amazing in every lighting guys every time I pulled up my phone to take a selfie or like my camera accidentally would open when I'd open snapchat and I'd see my myself my skin looks so good and I look so good I literally look photo focused I looked very good and I photographed very well if you check out my Instagram y'all will see how well the foundation looks in pictures I really like the concealer too I was honestly very impressed with the concealer it was long wearing it felt so thin but so full coverage at the same time I was honestly very impressed with the concealer because I'm not normally impressed with concealers I really don't use concealer and when I do I 
I'm so picky with the way it feels and this one was so lightweight I absolutely loved it so if you're on the spot about the foundation because you prefer something more high-end I definitely recommend that you check out the concealer because it was so creamy so blendable absolutely love it as far as the powder I don't necessarily feel like I need the powder I don't feel like the powder did anything special but it was a good powder nonetheless and it was good for setting the foundation however with the foundation I would definitely recommend to a friend I would definitely recommend just to add to your kit if you're a makeup artist I definitely suggest it but other than that guys I actually give this foundation a thumbs up surprisingly because I can't think of any cons to this foundation other than that guys that basically concludes today's video I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you add me on snapchat and instagram at DJIF Panda. and if you watch this video all the way to the very end let me know what your favorite new launch is or what you're excited about that's going to be released soon or it's already been released let me know down in the comments until next time guys you got Panda out